Buongiorno, buonasera, benvenuti amici. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome. Fountain pen therapy is what it's all about. It's spring out there. Today it was almost 28 degrees here in Montreal. Uh, I know we got a, another cold spell coming next week, but I think, you know, the snow is gone and I think uh, summer is quickly approaching. So I think we're all going to be feeling much, much better in the coming days and weeks. Having said that, as you can see from my introductory video, I've got a, just another beautiful pen. Yes, we're moving away from Italian pens. I know some of you might be saying, does this guy only own Italian pens? No, no, I don't. I can assure you. And slowly but surely, we will be looking at uh, different uh, d d pens c coming from different countries other than Italy. That, that I promise you. And in fact, we have one beautiful writing instrument to review today. It's the Ranga Splendor Torpedo. And uh, please join me in my overhead camera and we'll proceed with my review. Just give me a few seconds. Okay, so I'm back. I hope you enjoyed that, that video. Um, yes, here it is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the, the Splendor Torpedo. Uh, and it's manufactured by my favorite Indian manufacturer, which, was, which is Ranga. Uh, I think Ranga makes very, very nice pens with very nice nibs, a great choice in nibs. Great choice, especially their ebonite pens. Uh, and the prices are just right. Nothing is overpriced at Ranga. And you can tell everything, you get a nice package handle. You can see it's hand packaged, if you will. Uh, it's, it's always nice to receive those packages by what you see is probably a family run operation. And I love to encourage them and more particularly, I love their pens. So, and you'll see I have quite a few of them. And this won't be the first. Uh, it won't be the last, I should say, uh, Ranga pen that I review. So enough talking about Ranga. Let's look at this pen. First of all, I would say that this pen is simply majestic. It's, it's uh, overwhelming in terms of um, the size of this pen. Um, first of all, the resin is just... The chatoyancy on this resin, I think, is very, very nice. That stringy type of resin, I have always enjoyed. I've seen it on many other pens. I like the fact that the finial is cut off. In other words, it doesn't run uh, the same way. One would think, well, you know, if it ran the same way, it would have been, you know, just an extra touch. But I, I, I like the fact that it's distinguishable. Um, it just adds something to it. The clip is a nice size clip huge clip uh, stiff but it'll do the trick it, i think believes it comes in silver or in gold i chose the gold and i think the pièce de résistance so that's the outside is what's inside the motor as they say um look at this beautiful nib uh i paid you know i just Took the dive and I paid a little extra for it, but that's a titanium Bach size number eight nib. And I got to tell you, it's just, just, just springy and uh, wet. Um, one of my favorite nibs, even though it's not a stub. And as you know, by now, I only, uh, or most of my, my pens are, there's nothing less than bold um, unless... They just don't come in any other nib. And then even then, I re I replace the nibs. But this bolt, it's 8, size 8, it's got to stay there. Um, you can eye drop this with a little bit of grease around the, uh, the screwing area. You can see it has a very, 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 very long um, screwing section which, which with the grooves, which means if you grease it, it'll never leak. But I, I chose to put a converter in it for, for, today's, um, for today's review and today's writing sample. Uh, in terms of size, chunky, 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 chunky. Look at that. Does it post? I believe it does, but no, it doesn't. Uh, it'll come off. And frankly, you, you, you shouldn't be posting this pen no matter how much you like posting because it's huge, huge as it is. So that's 
that's the inside and the outside of this pen. Um, simple design, but but you know gives it gives it that nice look, and it's a real eye catcher. I've used this pen in meetings before, and uh, the first comment they make, "What is that that you have in your hands?" Well, it's a gorgeous pen. That's what it is. So give me a few seconds. We'll be right back, and we will do a size comparison. Okay, here's the size comparison. I try to choose uh, some of my bigger sized um, and favorite pens. First of all, compared to the Opus 88 Bella, which is a big, chunky pen, look at the difference, compared to my Leonardo Officina Momento Zero Grande 2.0, look at the size, compared to my chunky Joya Aleria, this is, again, a very chunky pen. Another big pen, which is my Maiora Impronte Posi, Posilipo. Another chunky pen, my Rainbow Stipula Etruria. And my new Dolce Vita DV Premier from Delta. And look, it overwhelms all of these other fairly large, fairly big pens. So... Congratulations, Splendor Torpedo. You're, you're number one in this comparison in any event. So that's the size comparison. Now let's move on to the uh, writing sample. Well, first of all, in terms of the ink that we will use today, we will use this one here. It's from Colorverse, and it's an ink by the name of Supernova. This is the bottle that it comes in. Nice bottles, Supernova. First of all, nice glass, nice shape to it, a very big um, opening so it doesn't cause a problem when it comes time to ink your pens. So that's the Supernova 65 milliliter uh, Colorverse, one of my favorite blue inks because it's got some sheen in it. And we'll see if that sheen, uh, uh, that sheen comes out in the writing sample. In terms of the um, journal that we will be using today well today i've moving away from uh, tomo river and we'll 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 trust this um, um, cosmic air light uh, journal and it should give us some nice colors because cosmo air is uh, should i be flipping it over yes i should cosmo air is said to be the you know the the, the, the company that would take over from from Tomo River, so hopefully, hopefully it does. Although I heard some very bad rumors that maybe even Cosmo Air Light might just disappear, which is which is not nice because it doesn't give us much of a choice after that. I got to tell you, without Tomo River and Cosmo Air Light, there's not much left. Uh, I know the Rodia's uh, Rodia fans, but I don't I don't believe that Rodia um, is the same thing as as Tomo River. It's it's a very nice paper one of the top papers in the world, but it, it just writes very differently. So uh, it, it's going to give us a different uh, look if that's what happens. Okay, so let's see um, before this pen starts to smudge on me. So the pen is the Ranga... <sighs> it's that wet. Splendor. Torpedo The nib is this very juicy Bach number eight titanium And the ink is the Colorverse Supernova. What can I say, folks? In terms of smoothness, this nib has <laughs> got some flex. It even gives you some, some line variation. Um, and it is 
extremely, extremely wet. You've got to be careful because this thing will leak on you if you, if you don't take care of it. So I think it's smooth. There is no hesitation in this nib whatsoever. In terms of a rating for the pen. Now, it goes without saying that some people will find this pen just too big. Okay, for me, big hands, this is just perfect for me. So I'm giving it a 9.8. I just love the size of this pen. In terms of the nib, that number size, I got to give it a 9.9. .9. I'm not sure there is a 10 in any of my election, in any of my collection, but this thing comes very, very close. It's a beautiful, beautiful nib, beautiful nib value for the pen even the nib i've got to tell you is well priced and that will bring me to their site i'm going to show you their site in a second or one of the sites value is excellent so i give it an a plus 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 now where i bought this pen is in a site by the name of Peyton, uh, Peyton's, what is it? Peyton Street Pens, I believe it's called. Yeah, Peyton's, yeah, Peyton Street Pens. And they have just a collection of Ranga. I got to tell you, sometimes they have more choice on this site than they do on the, you know, the, the Ranga website. And then I receive these great emails from the owner of Ranga that offers these uh, these deals uh, different choices different uh, different pens uh, I, I must receive at least an email once a month offering making all kinds of offers and the choice of nibs is fabulous you can get the Jovo you can get the Schaefer you can get the Schmidt nibs you can get many 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 choices so uh, I think Ranga is is a company that makes very very inexpensive, but well designed and well and very good manufactured pens. So that's uh, that's the website. Um, So that uh, wraps it up for me, and uh, thank you very much for joining me. If, uh, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe. If you enjoy these reviews, let me know. Uh, if you have any comments, if you disagree with, any, with anything I've said, please let me know. We are learning every day. It's fountain pen therapy for all of us. So thank you very much. Good day, and be well.